You can't see them, but inside this rushing column of Columbia River water are young salmon and steelhead migrating downstream to the ocean. On their journey to the sea, the tiny fish or smolts encounter many dangers, but recent studies show when juvenile fish travel through hydroelectric facilities such as John Day Dam, passage improvements made by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Bureau of Reclamation, and BPA are helping to increase fish survival. But I don't think anybody questions that uh, the river is now a much safer place for juvenile salmon and steelhead than it was you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Richie Graves, a biologist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, works with several federal agencies to ensure dams on the lower Columbia and Snake Rivers are safe for salmon and steelhead passage. To make fish passage safe and effective, NOAA scientists have issued what's known as a biological opinion. The so-called BIOP sets performance standard requirements for the Federal Columbia River Power System. The performance standards specify that 93 to 96 percent of juvenile salmon and steelhead, depending on the species, must survive as they migrate through federal dams on the lower Columbia and Snake Rivers. In 2012, juvenile fish passage studies conducted at six of those eight dams met or exceeded BIOP performance standards. To understand and document how well young salmon and steelhead pass through dams, scientists perform studies such as this one taking place at John Day Dam in the summer of 2012. Using a limited number of smolts, scientists working for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers put tiny fish to sleep. This is an acoustic transmitter. This is a, a pit tag, a passive tag. Then insert small electronic devices under their skin. This is displaying the fish that are, that are tagged fish that are detected upstream of the dam. The researchers use the devices to track fish as they move downstream toward the ocean. The scientific information gathered has proved extremely valuable. We use that information, that detection information, to estimate survival uh, for fish. We know exactly when and where the fish pass the dam. Brad Eppert, a fishery biologist with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, coordinated the research at John Day Dam. So with that information, then we can estimate their survival and show that we are meeting the performance standards. We spend a lot of effort both improving operations at the dams and structural modifications at the dams to improve salmon survival. Jason uh, Sweet, a fishery biologist with the Bonneville Power Administration, says to help juvenile salmon and steelhead successfully pass through dams, scientists first had to understand that most of the young fish travel in the top 30 feet of rivers. Armed with that knowledge, the Corps of Engineers that owns and operates the dams has installed new innovative surface passage structures for fish at all eight federal facilities on the lower Columbia and Snake. Federal agencies also effectively spill just the right amount of water over dams to move fish quickly and safely downstream. In addition, improved fish bypass systems keep most smolts away from the hydroelectric turbines at dams. But even when they do pass through turbines, these days, most fish survive. Each dam's a little different, each species is a little different, so we tailor our overall fix um, at each dam. One example of an improvement designed specifically for the Dalles Dam is this 830-foot-long spill wall. The spill wall, completed in 2010, has improved juvenile salmon and steelhead survival at the Dalles by an average of 4%. That number equates to tens of thousands of more fish surviving through the facility than before. The wall functions as a guide, pushing young fish into deeper, faster water as they exit the dam. Before the wall was constructed, swift currents carried smolts into shallow water where predators sat waiting to eat them. The spill wall down at the Dalles Dam is something that had never been done on that scale anywhere else on the Columbia River. So we're constantly um, improving our techniques and modifying the dams um, in new ways every, every year. While improvements to dams have taken years to perfect and in some cases are still being tested and adjusted, Studies indicate the efforts are paying off with safer dam passage for juvenile fish, showing it is possible for the Northwest to enjoy clean, reliable hydropower and still be friendly to the environment. There have been a number of improvements to the system. Unquestionably, it's better than it was. Uh, we're getting there.